Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. BJD President and Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik filed his nomination papers Thursday from the Kantabanji Assembly segment. This is the second Assembly segment from which he will be contesting the elections along with the Hinjli seat. Incidentally, the BJD had finished third in 2019 from Kantabanji. Patnaik flew in a chopper and landed at the Tushra helipad and from there proceeded to the sub-collector's office at Titlagarh and filed his papers. 5T Chairman Karthik Pandian and senior BJD leader and Patnaik schoolmate A.U. Singdeo were present with the CM. Biju Janata Dal President Navin Patnaik announced Thursday the names of three candidates for the assembly elections. With this, the BJD has completed nomination for all the assembly segments in the state. The three candidates nominated are Sandhya Rani Das from Korei, Sabitri Pradhan from Khandapada and Sukant Nayak from Nilagiri. While finalizing the names of all the 147 assembly segments in Odisha, the BJD has dropped 24 sitting MLAs and inducted fresh faces. Among the prominent MLAs dropped are Raghunandan Das, Sashi Bhushan Behra, Jyoti Prakash Panigrahi, Samir Ranjan Das, Padmini Dhyan and Bhupinder Singh. In April this year, Odisha capital Bhubaneswar experienced the longest stretch of heat with temperatures soaring to 40 degrees Celsius and above for 16 days. The heat wave lasted from April 15 to April 30. The previous highest was for 10 days from April 6 to April 15 in 2016. Union Minister Dharmendra Pradhan, former Minister Jual Oram and Bhubaneswar MP Aparajita Sadangi were among the prominent candidates who filed their nomination papers Thursday. BJD MP nominee Manmat Rautrai, on the other hand, arrived at the collectorate riding a bullock cart and blowing a kunch. Karnataka Home Minister Dr. G. Parmeshwara said Thursday a lookout circular has been issued to arrest Hassan JDS MP Prajwal Revanna who is facing allegations of sexual abusing women. Parmeshwara informed that despite Prajwal seeking seven days to appear before the SIT, he will not be given that time. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Thursday a scathing attack on Congress and said that the Grand Old Party's partnership with Pakistan has been exposed. His comments came after a former Pakistan minister praised Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. The CBI submitted Thursday to the Calcutta High Court a preliminary status report on its investigation into the cases of illegal land grabbing, extortion and harassment of women in West Bengal's Sandesh Khali. The CBI counsel also informed the division bench of Chief Justice T.S. Shivagnanam and Justice Hiranmay Bhattacharya that the state government was not cooperating in the investigation. BJP's heavyweight MP and former boss of the Wrestling Federation of India, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, won't be contesting the Lok Sabha polls this time, according to top leaders of the Saffron Party. The decision to drop Bridge Bhushan was taken after a number of women wrestlers alleged that he had sexually harassed them. Amid the suspense over Congress nominees from Amethi and Raibareli, Sources Thursday indicated that Rahul Gandhi is likely to contest from the seat he lost last time. With Friday being the last date of filing of nominations, the party is expected to announce its candidates from the two prestigious constituencies by Thursday night. The Supreme Court Registry has refused to accept the centre's plea seeking modification of its 2012 verdict in the 2G Spectrum case which had said the state was duty-bound to adopt the auction route while transferring or alienating the country's natural resources, sources informed Thursday in New Delhi. They added that the Apex Court Registry termed the plea of the government as misconceived. Indian dairy giant Amul will sponsor the USA cricket team in the T20 World Cup starting in June, the country's cricket board announced Thursday. The USA will be making their tournament debut as co-hosts of the tournament beginning June 1. Part of the event including the semi-finals and finals will be played in the West Indies. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.